Hello again everyone, welcome to more Dark Souls 2 uh, With me the Demon Forever And uh, last time we left off in... Uh, where were we? We just fought Velstart or, or, or however you pronounce his name And uh, we got back to Majula, we leveled up and did stuff uh, we, f we got some items from Strayed And basically we're gonna head back into the game Let's go! Okay, so we're back in Majula. Now the first, um, the first, well, what I'm gonna do for the first few minutes or first hour, I guess, is going to be random stuff. Another hour of randomness, so I'm gonna be going, getting items that I missed in certain areas. Oh, that was random. And uh, before heading on to where it is I need to go next, uh, using the King's Ring. Uh, now, I'll probably either skip all of that all together because it's just items and then you'll, I'll just maybe go over, you'll see me what I have equipped whenever I enter the equipment screen and whatnot, you'll see what I have equipped and whatnot. I do want to try out this staff and see, you know, how that works, I guess. But I want to get a few things uh, just to make sure that I am... Um, just to make sure that I am properly equipped, I guess. Just so that I, uh, well, I have the best of my casting uh, speed and, you know, stuff that increases my intelligence and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, so, I might skip around with that. And uh, so, I'll see you wherever it is I take you. If I skip the whole thing, I'll just talk about it. If I show you tidbits here and there, well... You'll be along with me. Let's see. I do think she has what? Um... Do you need something? Hmm. It's so hard to see. Oh well, let's just make a run for it. Try to find things. Isn't there like a uh Ah, oh my god. Oh, wrong one. You let me now. How you let me now? Oh, okay. Okay, this is definitely bullcrap. Okay, no, not that. Oh, this is it. And I should be healing. Oh my god. Okay, I am out of here. That was really close to... Okay, no, I'm somewhat lost. Uh, okay, I was on the wrong side of it. Cool. Nevertheless, I got what I wanted. I'm about to die anyway, but you know, we can run it. Not have to worry about it. Oh, okay, no. To the left. To the left. Oh man, frame rate, frame rate. Oh, look at the horrible frame rate. Isn't the PC version coming out soon? I don't remember the frame rate being that bad. Um. Okay, let's check out that ring I just got. It is the clear blue stone ring plus one. Let's see how that affects our casting speed. Look at that casting speed, man. Look at it. And that's an increase from what we already have. My god, and there's an actually a plus two, but I don't know if you can get that in this um in this uh playthrough we might be in new game plus I think maybe. There are a couple of things I wanna get. I have no idea how I will get them. If I don't um if I can't beat these guys well so what skill you've defeated my master but our master never dies and he changes form so that he may seethe for all eternity brave human you have yet to face your greatest perils take these may joy await you at the end of your travels and we get a ring. I have. But still, 
Alright, cool, nothing new. Okay, um Let's not go that way, we made this path. Uh well, let's check out that ring maybe. I don't know, because I feel weird because will I be going over this again later? Uh dragon ring. No idea what it looks like. Uh, this? Yeah. It looks like this, eh? Actually. Cool, there's a soldier ring and a dragon ring. Cool. What does it do? Let's read it. Increases HP, stamina, and maximum load, but it's easily broken. Is this durability is low or something, is it? Uh, where's durability? 25? Uh, ooh, yeah. Kinda low, actually, isn't it? Compared to the rest, I guess. Phew, that's... Stamina... What is... Uh, equipment load... And health... Actually, that's not... That's actually pretty decent, man. Let's try it. And have it uh, with all these stuff equipped as well. Let's head back. Huh. Okay, 75. So about 5 difference, I guess. The other one was doing 80. So this is slightly better. Trick him out of that, but Banky. We'll see what that does a bit later. Let's just so spear him. I doubt. I doubt two is going to be enough. But oh, nice. Damn, I only have four. Gotta love that. It won't fall down. Almost. One dark all for you. Alright, cool. Now what I wanted to get was... It's just here. And you might wonder why. Because we get a figure branch of you, you are, and we get lion mage robes and cuffs and skirts and whatnot. And you might be asking, why didn't we just get straight stuff? Oh well, yes, that's true. So let's check it out. So straight stuff. Um, it's there's no extra abilities, but and those are the stats. You know, it's good and it's good physical defense for mage rope basically and you know stat defense as well from magic and fire and whatnot now the um where is it the lion mage rope is much weaker and uh and the um except for in poison i guess but it's much weaker in the other respects and uh it's not that um well anyone can wear it if you compare that. But what it does has it does improve casting speed. Let's check that out. How much does it improve? But I have no idea. Oh, by nine, okay, so that's something to consider. Definitely. I mean by nine uh, and uh oh sorry, wrong button. And I see about the hand ones too. What does this do? Okay, so this gives a few ups and downs here, it's heavier, unfortunately. And uh Improves casting speed as well. So let's look at that. Again, 178. And then let's look at the pants. The Lion Mage pants. I don't unlikely wear this, but you know. Um, and that improves casting speed as well. By... Oops. Ah. I somehow managed to put it on and off at the same time. Uh, again, by that. So let's see if we equipped all of them. And then we check out our our it's one nine seven. We almost have two hundred basically casting speed. I mean, let's check that out. Seriously, like look how quick that is, man. Look how quick that is. Look how quick that is. Would you need all that physical defense if you were able to attack that quick? 
So that's something to bear in mind. I might run around with this on just, just for the hell of it for now. For a bit. So this is where we use that key we got. Attack! No. Ooh, item. Essish! Ooh, cool. Thank you for helping me. I am Onifex. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Thank you, kind traveler. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Thank you. I love how they don't tell you where her home is. I also like how you don't have to have the ring to talk to her. It makes it's kind of weird. You you'd have thought that you know you wouldn't need a ring to talk to her, but no. Oh well. Anyway, so you have no idea where her house is actually. Well, except for guessing, it's in Brightstone somewhere. Uh, what? Oh crap! This guy's. Oh well, never mind. Whoa! Look at him. How come this one remained broken? Doesn't this like come back? Oh, weird. I do like how that guy is still there. I have no... Uh, I believe this thing can push back, so... Okay, cool. Never mind that. Man, he was just enjoying the scenery, look at that. Waiting for people to come up from, you know, down there and whatnot. But, we spooked him. Oh. Uh, yeah, so we got what I wanted to get from here, this lion robe and whatnot. Is he still aiming for me? No? Cool. Because this is where she is now. Go we meet again, kind traveller. This is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I would be called a blacksmith. I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally, I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I require no payment this time. But you must bring me... A wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. Cool. And let's see what items she has. Okay, weapon stuff that I probably won't use. I won't get. Arrows. Uh, some cool stuff there. Oh, and some magic. Homing soul arrow. Already have one. Homing soul mass. Worthless now that I have home crystal homing so mess. Or sorcery. Also worthless because you only have four uses, I mean seriously. Fall control. Oh, which I uh, wasn't there another one of those somewhere? I could buy. You can repair weapon and armor and whatnot. Reinforce weapon and armor using the same stuff I believe. I need tiny chunk one more to this. Dynamite slab for this, but I'm not gonna waste it for this one. No, not really. I wonder. Mm, should that stays E or something? Yeah, I guess. I assume at least. It's 190, 130, 198 across the board. Oh, it's 190, 230. 198 across the board. So, darkness, this one is probably better, isn't it? This is 230. However, I could make this a darkness. Which, I mean, stack. Or magic staff, actually. Which would decrease my darkness. Which, you know what? Doesn't really bother me too much. Because I'm primarily going to be using sorceries, and darkness is going to be my secondary. Plus, this, this can also, like. Doesn't this also use miracles? Yeah, that's so cool. It means I can use hex. Miracles, you know, hexes that use um chimes. I think I can use this as well. 
Anyway, um, I wonder if we if we upgrade this, does it tell us um, if it uh, upgrades to the speed as well? Or it doesn't? Okay, cool. Does it upgrade our speed? That's interesting to know. And uh, what about um, what's this name stuff? This stuff. Does it, does this upgrade our magic or anything like that? No. That'd be so cool if it did. Oh, totally. So this B. Oh, B. Okay, still no parties, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Same stuff here. This doesn't increase our oh, fire, does it? Nah. Fire attack. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, I'd like to increase both of them actually, both sets, just so that I have the choice really between two. I mean, Tainat Shards aren't that expensive. But, um, let's see her trade stuff. Thorn Greatsword, Looking Glass Night Soul, that is so cool. Lost Sinner Sword, Soul of the Lost Sinner. Sea Enlightening, cool. Uh, there must be like, preferring something wicked, the king fled the castle and never returned, but his warrior, forever true to his command, stands ready to expunge those who challenge him. The true nature of this sword is unknown even to the lost sinner herself. Those who choose this sword will share the burden of the lost sinner's misdeeds. This blade saps the lack of its wielder. Strong attack unleashes its latent power. Movement slow down, strong attack. Oh. That's actually, that's really strong. Uh, it's a really strong attack from the, you know, spider. This blade is coated with a sticky silk that it casts with each strong attack. Slowing enemy movement. Supposedly, the Duke herself, an eccentric soul fascinated with spiders, the Duke himself, sorry, mm. went on to, to take a form that was far from human. Mm. And this is Freya as well. Thrusting sword, curved sword. Mm. Its needle like blade can easily pierce the seams of the toughest armor. Shield piercing. Okay. Mm. HP absorb, cool, butcher's knife. This is probably must be like Soul of the Rod in here. S index, damn, that's good. Sacred Chime Hammer, Silver Start. Oh, I already, I already burned this, so oh, damn. A great hammer. The power of this hammer's blessing has not faded completely despite its being exposed to the dark of the Undead Crypt. Unleashes lethal power with a strong attack. Silver Star, known as the Royal Ages, gave himself to the king in both life and death. Iron King Hammer. The corpse of the old Iron King became the vessel that bred Icarus Earth. The heavy rock tip is formed of cooled magma with a still smoldering core. A strong attack releases its inner power. Dragon Sage Spear. That's the normal stuff. King's Mirror, Looking Glass, can deflect spells. Oh, that is so heavy, 35 strength to wield it. Uh, sea and lining, 14 in uh, faith. Nothing with like good magic stuff, is there? And no other abilities. Uh, that sucks. Oh, let's talk. The nature of an item is greatly influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use, but when wielded properly, are extremely powerful. This is what I meant by unique. These wares are not for use by ordinary folk. It's hard to believe now, but this land was once a flourishing kingdom. Its king, Vendrick, came close to unlocking the essence of the soul. What a dazzling soul he surely had. Imagine what I might create with such a powerful soul. It is said that our technique originates from a strange being that inhabited this land. A pale beast that lived long, long ago. We don't even know what exactly it was. If you find a wondrous soul, bring it by for me to have a look. Do you 
find me strange? <laughs> you humans are always this way. The way you glare at any unfamiliar creature. The mix of curiosity, fear, and revulsion. No, oh, well, it hardly concerns me. The nature of an item. Okay, she's repeating herself. Yes. Okay, so do I really want to do anything? I can do all this back with um, the other guys, the other blacksmiths. It's not particularly important. And the only one I can infuse stuff with is uh, Macduff. So. Can I infuse this as well? I mean, if I whack this up, like this 39, what was this one? Oof, yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Defense wise, but you know, no, no, no poise, so you're not losing out on that. Oof. That's good poise as well, isn't it? How much overall poise will I have? 34, yeah, because I'm not wearing the leg stuff, am I? What about my, um, what doesn't tell you? Oh, yeah, this isn't, yeah. Oh, this doesn't give me poise, do you? Yeah, this isn't too bad. Especially since it gives a um, fire boost as well. What is this? Huh, very interesting. None of them like increase, like give a benefit to poise, do they? Like the poise remains the same when you upgrade it. Oh man, this is this would be so cool if it um if you had some poise to it. Or if his defense was higher, really. And then I guess you give it take, give or take, man. So I'm gonna just stick with this for now. I probably won't. Well, actually, I will upgrade it. <laughs> Let's upgrade it here anyway. Burn, burn our souls. Oh, not this side, this side, and here. Uh, sure. All right, cool. Which one should I do next? This or this? Mm. The one's fine, I guess. Uh, I only have one Titanite Shadow. Oh. That did not eat up a lot of souls, did it? After all that upgrade, still not better than <laughs> straight stuff. Come back again if you find another soul. Sure. So we can bring her um, boss souls if you want to. Okay. So let's try to get. Okay, we've got that. This. Okay. And we made it. And we just wanted to come here. Oh, I didn't want to use that. Goddamn. This, you remember that key we got from fighting the the golems, the giant golems? Oh, we can use it here. No, I forget if there's enemies. Oh yeah, there's this dude here. Let's say hello to whatever his name is. Young undead, don't let this curse weigh upon you. We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. Young undead, if you truly seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. May we meet again, somewhere, sometime. May we... Alright, so, that's that dude. And essentially, we've got nothing else to do here, so... Woohoo! That 
came out kind of late, didn't it? Is there anything in here? Is that an item box? How many were there? Were there one or two? Okay. Shit hole, really? Where did it go? There it is. There's an item there, isn't there? Oh well. Whoops, crap. Shit. Oh, one fire, cool. I will arrest you. Okay, so we found one of the other one fires here, cool. Where are these? Item? Oh, he fell down. Okay, he fell down. For arm. Where did we fall down from? Where did we fall? Oh, there. He must have fallen down from there. I knew there were two. He just fell down. Crap. Oh, uh, hi. Hello. We meet again, young undead. You have the look of a true seeker. I am Dark Diver Grandal, seeker of dark, giver of dark. Cool. If you seek true dark, I will grant it to you as much as you desire. Cool. Well then, is dark what you wish for? Um, Chuck. There you are. You are now a pilgrim of dark. The dark chasm beckons you. Okay. Those drawn to the dark are destined to seek it. Finally, you are here, young undead. Now, open the depths of darkness. Young undead, the dark awaits you. Okay. Ah, you can buy stuff. Cool. Human effigy, bonfire. Oh, cool. Light cast light. Yeah, dark off. Yeah. Dark hill, yeah, dark storm, profound still. Born of this hex born. Blocks the spells of nearby casters. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Cool. Give human effigy. Okay. The embrace of the dark is gentle. Let it absorb your sorrows forever. The ember. Go. May the dark shine your way. Uh, let's let's read that ring first. Um, we'll be down here with it. This ring of pilgrims of dark covenant increases the attack strength of hexes by casting them reduces HP. Damn. What is the dark? Perhaps we already know. We feel dark yet find solace in it. Those who join this covenant can see the hidden dark chasm. Okay. Does it do anything here? No. 193. Why did my casting go down? Speed. Oh, because I took off the thing. Yeah, cool. Never mind. I don't know what's down there, but. You know, I've got 20,000 souls, maybe not right now. Maybe I'll level up or something with those souls beforehand. So, let me rest here and then I'll be back. Give me a sec. 